Hi, this is Neil Walters of M2M Sys. In this video, I'd like to give you a very brief summary of what are BizTalk orchestrations. We'll be using a combination of slides and demo videos to show you this. Basically, the objective is to demonstrate what is a BizTalk orchestration, how it can be used in BPM, Business Process Management, and how it can control all your web services, which are all SOA based. And again, we're covering BizTalk orchestrations. So the big picture, BizTalk basically consists of four components, schemas, maps, pipelines, and orchestrations. Schemas define XML messages. Maps help you transform those messages from one XML message to another. Pipelines help you convert non-XML data to XML or vice versa, and also do things like encryption, decryption, translation, etc. Orchestrations basically control the flow of your business processes. So first we're going to show an orchestration, then we'll talk about how you monitor it. To keep the video short, I'm going to show you an orchestration that already exists here. This is the Solution Explorer. We're actually in Visual Studio right now, Microsoft's product for building applications. And here we have Orchestration PO Inventory Check. So this is an orchestration that checks inventory. And the way it was created was it basically receives a request, and at the end it returns a response. So in a way it's very much like calling a web service in that you're receiving a request and sending a response. So what we do is we receive an XML message here. Messages are defined over in this tab, in this little section here, and you can see we only have two messages in this entire orchestration. So each of these messages would be backed up by a schema definition which is defined earlier. So we receive here a PO inventory request and at the end we return a response. The first thing we do is do some setup stuff here. So if I double click on that shape, you can see you can actually write little strings of code inside the orchestration if when necessary. But most everything is very visual. You can see here we have a trace shape which is a, a custom shape that we've created and here we're going into BAM which is BAM is business activity monitoring which is a way you can collect data and it stores it in an SQL database again all kind of controlled by BizTalk. Here we're actually going to check the inventory and so this is where we might call some web service and we simulated that in this orchestration. So right here I actually had a box called fake logic and this is where we would probably call out to a web service and then receive a, spo a response. And then we build a response message and we simply send it back to the main orchestration. It's possible that you can right click here and insert other shapes like a decide shape. And you could say if the PO amount is greater than a certain amount, let's do a quick demo here, if the uh, request dot part quantity for instance is greater than 100. If they're ordering more than 100 parts then I might have to get a manager's approval or something like that. So we defined a rule here and when that rule is true we would then have another shape in here that would say what to do when that's true. And so this is basically how orchestrations are built. Orchestrations are kicked off typically by receiving a file. So for instance a vendor sends you or a customer sends you a purchase order, the orchestration would automatically start and process that purchase order. So how do you monitor your orchestrations? There are basically three tools for that. Built into BizTalk are the first tool, HAT, Health, which stands for Health and Activity Tracking, and BizTalk Admin Console. Further, some customers add an additional more detailed level, which would be some kind of custom tracing. So we'll take just a minute here and we're going to look at HAT. This is the tool that comes with BizTalk. Everything's integrated. You can basically click here and do query, and then most recent so 100 or most recent 5,000 service instances. And again, we're dealing with a very small screen here. Obviously, you'd have a much bigger screen in the real world. Here's an example of the last time I ran the orchestration. So you see here, orchestration, orc PO inventory check, and you can see that it completed successfully. You can see what date it ran on, what time it started, what time it finished. So this can also be used for monitoring various uh, duration times and other information that could be useful if you have errors. So this is HAT, and not only does it show just that one orchestration, it shows other related interchanges of data, such as when the message was received, what other orchestrations were called, and how they interact with each other. The next tool we want to look at is the BizTalk Admin Console, which we just expand here. And when we click this option here, BizTalk Group, we get the Group Overview. And this is where you can show orchestrations that are running or orchestrations that have been suspended. So there's nothing running right now, but this would allow you to peer into and kind of watch your orchestrations while they're actually executing and then to know when they've completed. 
So those are high-level summary of the HAT and the BizTalk Admin Console tool. In conclusion, BizTalk orchestrations are a powerful way to automate, control, and monitor the organization's business processes. Thank you for watching our video. To view more of our BPM BizTalk videos, please visit m2msysonline.com.